Hello everyone, greetings to all of you. I am welcoming all of you to Metallurgy and Automobile channel where we want to present and share the knowledge about various topics in metallurgy and automobile industry. In this video, I want to discuss and share about some basic terminologies of metallurgy. Those are some basic definitions, historical perspective, role of materials in uh, technology development and metallurgical cycle. So let's go into the video. Material Science and Engineering an Introduction So first we will see some basic definitions of uh, Material Science and Materials Engineering In Material Science it involves investigating the relationship, relationships that exist between structures and properties of materials that means so scientists are mainly focuses on the what is the structure of material based on what property it will execute. So it is very very important that every material's property is depends on its structure. So how many doctors and many people will say what you eat that is you are like that. What is the structure of material based on that? The properties will be defined like its strength, its uh, ductility, its electrical properties, mechanical properties, ma magnetical properties, all those things will depend on its structure. So it is very important to investigate relationship between structure and properties of the material. So role of material scientist is to develop or synthesize new materials. So all the material scientists will be working on uh, developing new materials or synthesizing new materials based on the structure and uh, properties of the materials. Coming to materials engineering, on the basis of these structure property correlations, designing or engineering the structure of material to produce a predetermined set of properties. Now what materials engineers will do? They will do that based on the scientists who already told us what is the relationship between structure and properties and they synthesized and discovered the materials based on that engineers will design a material or a system which is needed in the real life. And a materials engineer is called upon to create new products systems using existing materials. So this is what materials engineer will do. Okay. Next we will see some historical perspective, historical perspective of materials. See. As you've seen in the screen, materials development is that much important for us that our human civilization, our human ages, the development of humans are named based on the materials we were using. So you understand the importance of materials in everyday day-to-day -day life from start of the day to end of the day we will we are using all different different types of materials so in the past 2.5 million bc at that time humans were using stones as a weapons or for their daily needs people were using stone so based on that uh, it is named as a stone age after that human developed and he understood the procedures to produce a metal and that time he he started producing branch uh, for their daily needs so that age 35,000 BC that age we are calling as branch age 
after that so everything is a continual continuous improvement so man slowly learn how to produce iron Be, uh, from 1000 bc so it changed total human uh, structural technology everywhere you see every construction every every technology steel iron metals are the basic things for all the technologies so iron and steel production have changed the entire technology in the whole world so this is the historical perspective of the material science so next is so we will just go through the role of materials in technology development now i am saying materials are so important in technology so how come so let's have a look over there so you see in 1956 ibm had developed a hard disk which is 350 uh, which is uh, 5 mb you see the size here so to store the 5 mb of data that time this is this is the material we were using and now as you see 100 gb of data can be saved in very this much small pen drive so this can be possible in even the material is developed that is possible so coming to here so in earlier days aeroplane was like this now we can see aeroplane like this so it is possible because of the advancement in aluminum alloys and other materials earlier in uh, bio industry uh, our health industry earlier we can see the bandages are like this now we have a bio compatible materials where we can replace some bones with the bio compatible materials some examples are titanium alloys like that and in telecommunication industry also earlier the phone we can see these are the telephones now nobody have any telephones everybody having using the everybody using the smart mobiles so all this can be all these are possible because there is a uh, development in materials so ultimately development in technology so based on this i hope you can understand the role of materials in technology development okay we'll go to next uh, thing that is material science and engineering some basic metallurgical cycle we will see as i told you earlier structure and property of the material is very interlinked and the property of the material is depends on the structure so as you see here it depends on the processing how based on the processing structure will depend based on the processing its structure will depend based on the structure its property will define so this is a, a typical example of tensile test and based on the property its performance so you you see some cars some companies car have good life and good resistance for forces some cars are not that much resistance for loop only it will look good but if we are apply some force on it very easily dent will form but for other cars it will not form that much so it's all interlinked uh, for a for example our let us take a example of a human only our properties our performance it depends on the our bone structure if one person's bone structure is good then his properties and his performance is also good like that so 
for every materials properties structure is the main uh, main point so this structure will depend on the processing based on the structure properties will be determined based on the properties its performance will depend okay this is all for this video in next video we will learn about classification of materials i hope you have enjoyed and learned some basic terminologies of material science and you learn about what is the importance of materials in technology development if you have learned and like this video i request all of you to please like share and comment and without forgetting please subscribe for more videos thank you very much for watching this video catch you guys in the next video